For the 12th time in the past 15 seasons, the Carolina softball team has qualified for regional play in the NCAA tournament. The Tar Heels are one of four teams that will travel to Athens, Georgia for the double elimination style regional pool play. Joining UNC will be Central Connecticut State, Western Kentucky, and the hosting 14th seeded Georgia Bulldogs. This will be the team's second trip to Athens this season. On April 1st, the Tar Heels upset then number nine Georgia by a score of 15 to nine. North Carolina comes to Athens and pulls off the upset. I bet you Georgia has a target on our backs and I know they want to come after us because we already beat them once, but I think it just helps us a lot because we're confident going in there. We know what to do, we know how to do it, so just going down there and taking care of business and not making it any bigger than what it is. Carlson, who pitched all seven innings in the win over Georgia, seems to have found her groove in the circle. Oh, that's a good pitch. In last week's ACC tournament, she allowed just three runs in more than 13 innings of work and added nine strikeouts. Her recent success is due in part to the development of her changeup, a pitch Carlson has used effectively to disrupt opposing hitters. Changing speed is what keeps hitters off balance. If your changeup's not on, it's a lot difficult to get hitters out. So I think that as long as I can keep my changeup going, it gives me more confidence in fooling their batters. The Tar Heel offense makes good use of the long ball, a big reason they averaged more than seven runs per game this year. But a pair of contact hitters could be the key for Carolina. Taylor Wyke and Akila Mateen, the first two hitters in the UNC lineup, combined to score a quarter of the team's runs this season. Their ability to get on base puts pressure on the defense and can fluster opposing pitchers. For us, it's a really big confidence booster when they lead off, get on, Kiwi moves are over and essentially a safe half the time. So when that happens, it's a really big confidence boost for you know big hitters like us. I think it's really important for them to you know do their job and they do that well. Carolina will open regional play on Friday at 2.30 against Western Kentucky. All games in regional play will be broadcast on ESPN3.